In the 1950s, we studied what happens in the centers of stars, where it's very hot, and you have thermonuclear fusion. And most of the universe is hydrogen. And in the center of stars, it fuses hydrogen to helium, releasing energy. Some stars keep going. The very high mass stars go hydrogen to helium, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. And you see the periodic table getting filled in. And you say, all right, now what? Those stars also happen to explode, scattering that enrichment across the galaxy. And so you look at the ingredients of the universe in rank order, hydrogen, helium, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, in that order, and, and other, okay? My favorite element, other, uh, in that order. Then you say, what's life on Earth? Composed of, in rank order. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you, it's hydrogen first. Yeah. What you find that in our water molecule, that's half our body weight. We don't have helium, because it's inert. Skip that, we get to carbon. We're carbon-based life, as any good science fiction storyteller will tell you. Next is oxygen. Next, nitrogen. Next, okay. other. Okay. We are one for one, the same ingredients Go back. of Go. the universe. Go. So, so, by life on Earth was not taking rare ingredients and doing special things with it. It was taking the most common ingredients in the universe and being, being, being. Okay, what's the next being what? <laughs> exactly. It was being opportunistic.